Dr. David Kimbrough, and Dr. Randall Hughes work to unlock the secrets of the inner tidal zone, where the land meets the sea. This is a story about plant personality. We start with Allie, a loggerhead that was rehabilitated at the Gulf Specimen Lab. Feeding time for Allie meant blue crabs. Loggerheads typically make use of salt marshes and all that they offer. So do Tim and Dusty. Kind of have to chase them around. It's a constant chase, that's for sure. For sure is fun. I can't imagine doing anything else. Marsh cord grass connects underground, so these may be several plants or just a few. Why is that important to blue crabs? Most people looking at a marsh don't think of it as a very diverse place because it tends to be dominated by just a single plant species or maybe one or two. But if you consider diversity within those plant species, then suddenly there's actually a lot there. In 2009, Randall started to look at how an individual cordgrass plant's personality affects marsh health. So most people don't think about plants as having personalities, but Robin and I have been working with some of these particular plants in the greenhouse at the Marine Lab for a while. After two years of growing, the plants moved to the field. So one like this one over here may be taller with not as many shoots, and then you may have a shorter one with uh, you know, fewer shoots over here and so forth. And so working with these in the greenhouse, we've sort of gotten a feel for their characteristics. These experiments look at the benefit of having a diversity of personalities. If an area is dominated by a single individual and something comes along like a snail that really likes to eat that particular individual or some sort of disturbance that that individual is not very resistant to, then you can wipe out that entire area. Whereas if you have a lot of different individuals interacting, that greater diversity may give you insurance against some sort of disturbance event or bad thing happening. In the Grass on the Reef is funded by the National Science Foundation.